Hello Sagittarius, Elsie here to do your reading for the week ahead. How are you? Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. We're almost there, right? Two more days to the Friday. And uh, I'm here to do a reading for you for next week. Some energy for next week if you're interested. Thanks for clicking here. If, oh, I'd want to tell you, Sagittarius, that we are having a live. I have I have booked a live. You may have, may or may not have seen it come through. Um, and it is going to be on Saturday. It's 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. And um, I hope that you can be there. We're gonna, I want to be able to give away some really quick, short readings, about five-minute readings. Yeah, for as many people that want them that show up in the chat. All right, here we go. We're going to start with Sacred Traveler. What do you got to say to Sagittarius? What do you have to say to Sagittarius? Breaking trail. A breakthrough is at hand. And open your heart to joy. The bottom we have fogged in. Go slow and take, take your time. Yeah, right. <laughs> Not really in the vocab. I'm a Sagittarius rising. Taking my time isn't really in my vocabulary. <laughs> All right. All right, so breaking trail. Right? We have someone working really hard to try and forge the trail ahead. So a breakthrough is at hand and it may come to you while you're working, depending on what you do for work. If you're someone who does sort of meditative work, like maybe you're a potter or an artist or a musician, maybe it comes to you in those ways. For some of you, it could be um, a breakthrough a breakthrough about where to go and what path to take. You may be you may be clued in on, on what path you're supposed to be taking next. And it says, joy and delight, open your heart to joy. So I feel like that if you can work hard enough to break trail, to be brave enough to be the trailblazer, I feel like there is a breakthrough coming for you. you. Some of you may have already had that breakthrough, but I feel like the breakthrough makes you happy. Open your heart to joy. The breakthrough may be vulnerability. Maybe you have come to a point in your life where you can be discreetly vulnerable, right? And not everyone, not everyone is um, has earned the right to have your vulnerability. But it's so so necessary. Um, being angry is easy, and um, being vulnerable is not. So sometimes we'll pose a. Uh, our vulnerability with anger, yeah, in order to mask the vulnerability because it's scary to be vulnerable. All right, here we go. All right, oh, wait, wait, that one. Come to the edge, okay. Coming to the edge, and that's what I feel like you're doing, and I feel like it's a little bit scary. It's exhilarating, both exhilarating, scary, and it's going to be filled with joy and delight, I believe. It says, come to the edge. It's card number 36, and uh, we have some someone dancing on the very edge, right? Someone whose toes are almost off the edge. It's like you had, Sagittarius, you had put yourself on the, your own little island, feeling like you like nobody understood you or that nobody loved you or that you weren't getting reciprocal energy in um it, there's a bunch of hearts around here so romantic things we have card number 36 which is number nine and nine in the tarot is uh in the major arcana right is is the um the hermit so you may be coming to the edge or ready to step over the threshold um maybe you're ready to be vulnerable enough to find love again. Uh, we have purple and we have pink and that is the, th the third eye and um, the crown chakra. Yeah. Just listening. Coming to the edge. I think you're on the edge of a breakthrough. Some sort of a breakthrough. And sometimes, y'all, breakthroughs look like breakdowns. So I'm just saying. <laughs> so if you're one of those people, please don't be hard on yourself. Sometimes it's necessary, depending on who you are, right? We've got Inkpot, 
problems to be resolved. There we go. You're you're having the breakthrough. You're breaking trail and you've decided that you have to do it. Um, it's going to be a lot of hard work, but you have to let it come to the surface. Your vulnerability, you have to let it come to the surface. Hidden secrets can harm you. So make sure there's no skeletons in the closet, right? It's anything that you that you don't you don't want to have to hide things from people because hidden secrets can harm you when nothing's hiding and you're honest and vulnerable about stuff and i'm not saying i'm not saying pour all of your junk onto somebody because not all of it is appropriate right and uh, it's not at all appropriate for someone to pour all of their junk on you um but i feel as though that this whatever a, if you have secrets in your past that everything eventually comes to the surface. So make sure that, you know, the skeletons in your closet, if they're still there, make sure they're lined up in a good line, you know, in, in, a, in a straight line. <laughs> because I have a feeling that um, there's some things there that maybe you don't want people to see. So we have problems to be resolved. Got one sticking out here. Take that one. I always like to look at the bottom here. It says, you need to, you need to defend yourself. Interesting. You will need to defend yourself. Okay. Let's look at this last one here. Love, deep affection, and caring. Okay, so it's coming up beside this card here that has all the little little hearts that are falling. So I feel like your vulnerability is what is going to bring you is, is going to bring you the next love of your life. That's what I feel. I feel like it's time for you to stop being so closed off. Yeah, everybody has has uh, skeletons in the closet, Sagittarius. Everybody does. We all have one thing that we feel shame about. Yeah. All right. And maybe you're the purest angel ever and you don't, and that's okay too. But the rest of us are here for the lessons. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> all right, here we go. King of Cups. Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. For some of you, that might resonate as your person. You've been trying to figure out... Oh, what are you contemplating? It feels like you're contemplating love. You're looking at the situation. Maybe I'm not in love. Maybe it's infatuation. Maybe it's infatuation, Elsie, and I don't really love this person. But I feel like this is the energy here. You could have Pisces in the chart for sure, but I feel like this is the energy here of a knowing that there is love for sure. But also looking at it at all angles, right? Trying to decide if this is the right thing to do. Um, trying to decide if this is something that you want to continue to grow or not. I feel like this thing's growing whether you want it to or not. Yeah, this love. I feel like it's growing whether you want it to or not because look at all that ivy back there. Ivy grows in cracks and holes. Oh my gosh, that's a song from... Oh no, that's evil that grows, not ivy. Okay, forget it. Um, I still feel like ivy grows in cracks and holes. Like, you you know, ivy just never dies. It grows on everything, right? You you see an old castle in, in, in Scotland or Ireland, and you know that there's always going to be ivy growing up that building because it's been there forever. Ivy will grow anywhere. So I feel like whether you put energy into this or not, whether you come up with the idea or the answer, it's going to grow anyway. I feel like it was meant for you, and I feel like you know that. Two of Swords, trying to make a decision, trying to um, get a backbone, trying to listen, trying to make the best decision that you can without getting cut, right? Um, I feel like you want to make a decision. Swords are up. I feel like you're willing to make a decision at this point. Because I think you've, hang, you've hung there um, long enough, right? Somebody is holding open the door. Four of cups because you didn't take the cup when it was offered. I see. So it might have been you, Sag, but it could have been your person as well. Somebody didn't take the cup that was offered. And when the cup was denied... I feel like whoever that was goes into hermit mode. So I feel it's you. I feel it's you that's going to have to make a decision. You're going to have to make a decision, I feel. Um, 
I feel like you've been hermiting or not necessarily hiding, but in maybe in self-preservation mode, Sag, and you've been thinking about how did I get to here? I feel like you have, you feel a little bit of shame in the background with these skulls that are in the, in the closet that you have here, but I also feel that any problems that you've had um, feeling love or feeling emotion or not being vulnerable, I feel like this King of Cups tells me you've grown, you've emotionally grown, and now you're going to be able to be vulnerable and feel it all. Um, I feel like you have been, or they have been, somebody has been holding a door open so this cycle didn't close. Now, I just want to say, Sag, we never have to be worried about cycles closing because what comes next, right? After the 10 comes the 1 and you open a new cycle anyway. So never be scared about things that are ending. And, and please remember that, that people are meant to come in and out of our lives, right? Not everybody's meant to stay. And um, I think that's what I'm supposed to say here. It's okay to close to close the cycle because not everyone is meant to stay in our life and please understand that if someone tries to leave your life and you chase them trying to hold them in place they're just going to try and run further okay it's whatever whatever is being chased will run and that's that's the truth we have uh, temperance here in the distance so something that's healing i feel like yeah that the reason that you're leaving the door open for love here is because i feel that either somebody offered you a cup Sag, or you offered someone a cup and someone said no. And so since then, you've been hanging here in this stagnant energy wondering why. What did I do? What did I do? What did I say that caused this person to recoil from me? Um, but I don't feel like it has anything to do with you. We're going to keep reading, of course. I don't know that it has much to do with you. It's not what it feels like. It caused you to go into hermit mode and try and think it out and decide decide whether you know what decision you wanted to make you're growing a backbone but i feel like it's healing it's very healing um this uh, time that you have in hermit mode i think it's a good thing that you went there but you don't want to stay there right you don't want to stay there forever it's good to go there and heal and find your light and find your path all right sag what we got here what does the kipper have to say There we go. So there is a message. There is going to be someone who is connecting with you. The family room. Someone. No, I think it's you. You're the one thinking about the family room. Why isn't this person connecting with me or contacting me? That's what's going on while you're sitting here in this hanged man energy which is adjacent to the hermit energy, right? So I feel like you could be spending a lot of time at home waiting for a message, looking at your phone, sitting in hanged man energy here. If you're not the one who's waiting and hoping and thinking, this is not your reading. Um, but this is someone who is hoping, someone who's waiting for love to show up. Um, I feel like you have grown in your ideas of love and how to be vulnerable. But I feel like you're really close to closing this cycle, Sag. If you don't receive a message, maybe in seven days, some of you could put a time limit on it. If you don't receive a message here, I feel like, yeah, you're just going to close the door. Um, I feel like you, you really want a partnership with somebody. We've got card number 21, which is three in the family home, partnership in the family home, right? This is the place where we entertain, where we visit each other, talk as a family. You know, people that come to our homes, we treat as family, right? I don't invite anyone to my home that's not like family. Maybe you don't, maybe you do. All right. Here we've got toil and labor. So somebody's working really hard, harder than usual, because toil and labor to me is someone who is the entry level uh, person who comes on green in the new job. Not much training, gets all the hardest jobs, works the longest hours trying to prove themselves. That's what it feels like here. So uh, I feel like somebody has been working long, long and arduous hours to prove themselves to you, Sag. And it's going to come in the form of a message that you've been waiting for. Um, I think that you, when whilst you're in hermit mode here, that you are trying to heal. And in your healing, I feel that you're trying to incorporate 
your thoughts and your manifestations into this as well because I really think that this is what's on your mind. You're waiting for a message for someone to call you and say, look, I want you. I want you to be in my home. Can you come visit me? I want you to be my family. Can you be my person? Uh, and the, the partnership, right, is like I have something to say to you. Let's build something slowly. So I feel like somebody is going to be making communication here. Okay, tell me about this communication, this message. Could come by phone, could come by letter for sure. Handwritten letter. It's about love. That's what that message is about. We've got two kings of cups here. Sag, uh, sorry, um, the Sag. Uh, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, right? We've also got Pisces energy here in the Hanged Man. And we've got Virgo energy here in the Hermit. Someone may have purchased a new home. Could be you or your person. And uh, someone who has become financially well off. Or the other way around. Has become financially well off and has purchased a new home. So this... I feel like you are showing us the King of Cups, the emotional one, the one who wants the emotion, the love, the depth of love, the psychic one, the one who's very vibrational. Um, and I feel like this person is the one um, that is your person, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That's what it looks like to me. This person may be someone who's either buying a house, working on a house, or has sold a house, has become financially st stable because of the sale, or has has been financially stable and therefore has purchased a house that's what it looks like here because of um a divorce i feel so i feel like either you or your person has um it, I feel like I feel like the king for me, the king of swords represents someone who is, you know, in law. It always does because the truth, someone wielding the sword of truth. Someone here is not exactly telling the truth. Um, I think that there has been papers filed. Maybe if we're looking at uh, some sort of a break in a relationship in a divorce, um, that's what this could be as well. If you are someone who is experiencing, you know, a rocky time in your marriage, I feel like that's that's uh, poignant for you. But for others of you, I feel that the last communication you had with each other, if we're looking at this in terms of how I was reading it at the at the initial, if you two are supposed to be together, you waiting on the letter and this person is maybe delayed from trying to get their life together here that maybe the last communication you had between you was not good that it was illogical and maybe a little bit harsh and i'm not talking long drawn out character assassinations i'm talking about somebody was super aloof like what do you want yeah you know when you contacted them what do you want and and it didn't it didn't make you feel good yeah no not for sure we have the uh, seven uh, pentacles, and so I feel like there is a, a lot of, there has been or, or will be a lot of waiting yet to get to the rest of this healing with this person here. All right, so you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to take it into the extension. We're going to go from there. We've got a lot to clarify. We're going to find out what kind of trail you're breaking and why. Why are you coming to the edge? What's going on with the vulnerability? Um, we have uh, love, deep affection, and caring. We're going to clarify this, you know, the skulls in the closet, and find out what, what is, is resolved here. And it's allowing you to show up. First card, right? Allowing you to show up as the king of cups. What has happened that has made you grow? And why are you just stuck here in this energy of the hanged man you're trying to make a decision i feel like this letter is going to help you make the decision sag um and it's coming from someone that you see as your twin um because the kings of cups right someone you see as your twin or someone who you're deeply connected to in a spiritual way i feel like there was a severing of ties here that's what it feels like that there was a, a harsh conversation a severing of ties but i feel like someone has now become financially stable and has maybe purchased a home and is now thinking about bringing you into their life because they did say no to your cup before yeah and that's what put you into the hermit mode i think you've been there for a while nonetheless we're going to go into the extension and uh let's find out what goes on there we will uh, throw some more oracles on top of that and we'll find out what we come up with i'm gonna go love you guys Bye bye